I can't believe that is what was causing my tail wag this whole time. Here is everything I tried to solve my tail wag, why these things might work to solve yours, and what eventually solved mine, and why. I got rid of most of my tail wag pretty quickly, but there was a tiny bit remaining that appeared only after flying around briefly. It was solid on takeoff, and started shortly after leaving the hover. So, the first thing I tried when there was lots of tail wag, and probably the simplest for you to try, is adjust your tail gyro gain. You probably know this unless you're brand new to RC helis, but if your tail gyro gain is too high, it will cause a fast tail wag and it will look something like this. If your tail gyro gain is too low, it will cause a slow swaying tail wag which will look something like this. But why is this the case? Gain basically means sensitivity, so how much it reacts or overreacts. Imagine if your wife or girlfriend is a bit too sensitive, she's likely to overreact to small things. The tail gyro does the same thing, so we'll stick with heading hold mode for now. If the tail is disturbed, say by a gust of wind, and it's pushed to the side, it tries to hold the heading by correcting to get the tail back where it was. Now, if the gain is too high, it overcorrects and pushes the tail too far. It realises it overshot where it should be and corrects in the other direction. But, you guessed it, it overcorrects again and goes too far. And on and on. Second, how smooth are all the parts of your tail pitch change mechanism? Mainly this slider and all the links around here. Start by disconnecting the tail control rod, like this. Gently move this backwards and forwards to see how smooth it is. It needs to be really smooth. If there's any notching or stickiness, it needs to be sorted. But why, I hear you ask again. Well again, let's say the helicopter is correcting for a gust of wind. Now it comes across a little bit of resistance. So. Now it comes across a bit of resistance. This is the tail slider, this is the bit of resistance. It comes across a bit of resistance in the mechanism. It has to push slightly harder to overcome the resistance. As it pushes harder and breaks past the point of resistance, it will overshoot and overreact like before with the higher gain. Then it goes the other direction, encounters that resistance again, and the cycle continues. So if you have a sticky tail you may want to take the tail apart and inspect every little bit for dirt, damage, scratches. Check if anything is bent to make sure no thread lock is anywhere it shouldn't be. Make sure it's all in good condition and clean and put it back together. If you're desperate you can even try putting on a tiny bit of thin motor oil on the tail shaft. Something like this thin motor oil which was recommended to me by a hobby shop. Make sure you don't try a lot though, just a tiny drop if you really feel the need. Third, check your wires around your fly barless unit. There are two main things that can cause problems with wires here. First, if the wires here are too tight, they can pass the vibrations from the helicopter to the fly barless unit. I couldn't give you a great detailed explanation why, but vibration can cause tail wag too. Second, on the same lines, if you have a big bunch of wires, all kind of fixed together but loose, they can flap around and tug on the fly barless unit, thus causing tail wag as well. So make sure the server wires are secure down but with a little bit of slack in them, like this. I know this isn't very tidy and it annoys my OCD side. I thought about making it absolutely perfect, like Jeff from West Hobby's RC, but then I thought... Ain't nobody got time for this! Fourth, check your fly barless unit mounting. I'm not going to pretend I'm an absolute technical genius here, but if you have the wrong fly barless unit mounting pad, then it'll vibrate the unit too much, or let it wobble slightly to be precise in some cases. If you have a thick mounting pad, then try something thinner, like this 1mm 3M sticky pad, which is what I've got just in there as well. This will help keep the fly barless unit more stable and reduce vibrations or wobbling, which are an RC helicopter's worst nightmare when it comes to sorting tail wag. So I tried all these things, but no luck. Then it hit me. I rushed to attach the receiver before, but forgot to use proper mounting tape. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! And it looked like this. 
I can't believe that is what was causing my tail wag this whole time. It will probably have come from some other things as well. The tail gain definitely needed some fine tuning as well. What else can you try if these don't work for you? Well next on my list was get a new tail servo. These can definitely cause tail wag too if you have a dodgy one. No doubt there are some other things that can cause tail wag too. If any of these worked for you or something different did, please let us know in the comments. If you found this helpful at all, do me a massive favour, hit like and subscribe. Cheers.